Hello, hello, it's Thumplet here. Here's an item on number theory. What is the largest multiple of 7 less than 10,000, which can be expressed as the sum of the squares of three consecutive numbers? Credits to the Philippine Mathematical Olympiad for this item. As usual, pause this video if you'd like to give this item a try. But if you're done, let us dive into the solution. Okay, now, the very basic observation we should have here is that there should be an upper bound as to what the three consecutive numbers may be. Because obviously, the numbers can't be too big. You're going to square it, add them up, and that still has to be less than 10,000. That's the um, condition. So let's try to represent the three consecutive numbers. And I'm going to represent it as x minus 1, x, and x plus 1. Now, the reason why I'm going to do this specifically, you're going to see it in a while. It's going to help me simplify my calculations. So um, those are the three consecutive numbers. Let me just try to take the square. So um, the first one becomes x squared minus 2x plus 1. That's the first term. And then the x, obviously, is just going to be x squared if I square it. And then the last one, it's going to become x squared uh, plus 2x plus 1 if I square that. All right. Now, you guys could probably realize that the reason why I represent it in like this format and not something like x, x plus 1, and x plus 2 is because I'm taking advantage of the symmetry here. As you can see, if I were to uh, add them up, it's going to be a very simple 3x squared plus 2. And that's because I'm kind of using the fact that uh, I do have symmetry here. So like um, the minus 2x and the plus 2x do cancel out. So it's just to kind of help me uh, simplify my calculations a bit. And you guys could also try to see them for yourself. Because if, if I were to do x, x plus 2, x, x plus 1, and x plus 2, uh, it's going to give a little bit, uh, it's going to complicate the solution a little bit. Anyways, uh, moving on. So 3x squared plus 2, that's the sum of the three consecutive numbers. Uh, we know this should be less than 10,000 as per the given. So 3x squared would be less than 9998. So x squared would be less than 9998 over 3. Well, I'm pretty sure this is less than 9999 over 3. Well, that's equal to 3333. 3, 3, 3. So essentially, I could just kind of solve for x, um, such that x squared is less than 3333. 3, 3, 3. Now, I'm not going to bother getting the negative ones because I think the positive one is just okay anyways. So I'm just going to, without the generality, assume here that x is going to be positive. So um, x squared is less than 3333. 3, 3, 3. Now, I'm just going to um, kind of directly tell you guys the largest possible value of x here. Uh, it's going to be 57. Now, because, well, 57 squared, so 57 squared, it's going to give me 3, 2, 4, 9. And in fact, 58 squared, that's going to be over. So 58 squared is actually 3, 3, 6, 4. And that's going to be greater than 3, 3, 3, 3. So I think that's not possible. So we're going to, we're going to have the upper bound for x. So we, we can say that x is less than or equal to 57, right? That's going to be the first information we need. Now, going back to the question, we kind of wanted um, the sum of the squares of these three consecutive numbers to be divisible by 7. So naturally, we're going to try to work under mod 7. So let us try to check the possible values of x squared under mod 7. All right. So I'm just going to solve them one by one. So obviously, there should be seven possible remainders, seven possible uh, remainders when you divide by 7 or like residues under mod 7. So x can be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6. So first one, if x is 0, then x squared is just 0. If x is 1, x squared would just be 1. And then doing it for 2. Um, 3 squared is 9, but let's reduce it to 2 because we're working under mod 7. 4 squared is 16, but that's just 2. 5 squared is 25, but that's just 4. 6 squared is 36, but that's just 1. Okay, now we want to add consecutive uh, three consecutive numbers so in fact we can kind of see here that there are only two possible cases it's either one plus four plus two again they're consecutive so it must be consecutive obviously so um, the one case is one four two the other case is two four one and you guys could check there aren't there aren't any other possible um, conse uh, three consecutive numbers such that um, the sum is going to be 0 mod 7. Again, 0 mod 7 is just going to mean that the sum is divisible by 7. So um, 
we kind of represented the three values as x minus 1, x and x plus 1. So um, that kind of tells us that, well, one possible case is, okay, x minus 1 is 1 mod 7, x is 2 mod 7, and x plus 1 is 3 mod 7. That's one case. The other case is uh, x minus 1 is 4, x is 5, and x plus 1 is 6 mod 7. Now, so I could just kind of use the x anyway. So x would be either 2 or 5 under mod 7. So x is congruent to 2 or x is congruent to 5 mod 7. And combining with the fact that we do have x is less than or equal to 57 based on the inequality we got a while ago, we just kind of list down. Now, 57, I mean, we could just kind of find the largest possible um, number here that works. Now, 57 uh, is 1 mod 7. So I believe we're leading towards the 5 mod 7 case. So 56, 55, okay, 54 is the number that's going to work here. 54 falls in the 5 mod 7 category, so I believe x must be 54. Now, if x is 54, then x minus 1 and x plus 1 will be 53, 55 respectively. So our last step is just to take the sum of the squares because we want the largest, um, we want the largest multiple of 7. I believe we just take the sum of the squares, so 53 squared plus 54 squared plus 55 squared. Now, just work the sum one by one, uh, work the square one by one. 53, is two, 53 squared is 2809. 54 squared is 2916. And then 55 squared is 3025. And um, last step, just simply add them up. We're gonna get the final answer to be 8750. And this is the answer. And now you guys could always verify it on your own. This is indeed divisible by 7. In fact, this number over here is 1250 times 7. So there we go. This is the final answer. So hopefully you guys learned something new for this video. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.